Peterhead in Scotland, and trawlers are leaving for the final fishing trip before Christmas. Where you go? Where you go, mate? Most of the boats here are tied up now. They've already used up their quotas and caught all the fish they're allowed to for this year. Bobby Smith bought his boat two years ago. It cost over a million pounds. Already badly affected by this year's quota, he doesn't believe he could survive if next year's quota is much lower. The boat would have to go up for sale and nobody would be, want to buy the boat. So we would be left without a job, without, we would be giving up our livelihood. The bank would be left owed a, a lot of money and uh, it wouldn't just be his boat, it would be hundreds of boats. The fishermen of Peterhead will soon know what prospects 1991 holds for them. At the end of this week, the European Commission in Brussels is expected to announce a new package of severe restrictions governing fishing in the North Sea. This will amount to a drastic reduction in catches of fish and will ruin the livelihood of many of the fishermen here. It's four in the morning and the first trawlers return to unload their catch for the morning's market. George Jack normally brings back cod and haddock, but he's filled his quota for both these species and so can only land whiting. But when fishing for whiting, he unavoidably caught cod and haddock in his net. Banned from landing them under the quota system, he had to throw them already dead overboard. And that's one reason why the present quotas aren't working. This truck we've discarded approximately 30 to 40 boxes of uh, mainly cordling and maybe 20 boxes of haddock. When you have to discard large cod, which is fish this size, which is really good quality, marketable fish, it makes you feel, well, you just want to do, you don't want to do this type of thing because it's, a, it's adverse to all your thinking on conservation and everything. It's been a bad year for the fishermen here who traditionally rely on cod and haddock. If they keep to the quotas, they say they can't make a living. Well, it's a catch-22 situation. If you're catched, breaking the quota, you're fined. But if you don't break the quota, you don't meet your commitments. So the bank takes your, takes your boat back. So what's, what do you do? You've got no options here. Because the quota system isn't working, everyone agrees that the problem with stocks is getting worse. Nearby in Aberdeen, government scientists monitor the number of fish in the sea. The data compiled here is sent to the European Commission and used to determine what the annual quotas should be. Scientists believe that the quota system is basically flawed. What we've tended to experience in the last few years when quotas have been restrictive is that fishermen will still tend to catch at the same rate but the, their landings are restricted rather than the total catch. Now that either means uh, fish are landed illegally or they may simply be discarded at sea. So the total proportion of the stock being removed is still the same, it's just that the landings have gone down. Dr Cook believes that a change in the size of net used by fishermen might be the most effective way to conserve stocks. What I would much prefer to see is technical conservation measures so that fishing is more selective and more effective, because that is the key to this whole argument. And secondly, I'd like the industry to be able to have much more freedom and liberty to be able to organise its own affairs and rationalise itself. The fishermen of Peterhead are aware that without any prospect of compensation, their future looks bleak. They face a major dilemma. If they stop fishing, they'll go bankrupt after being encouraged for so long by both the government and Europe to buy boats and become more efficient. They're now totally confused. For years and years and years, we were encouraged by modernisation, by build new boats, build bigger boats, grants for bigger engines, uh, everything to make boats more, more efficient, more effective, and then all of a sudden, it's cut. Isn't one of the problems that over the past 10 years the government has poured millions of pounds into building up effective new fleets and now all of a sudden we really need to take them out of the market? Well, if you like, there is a contradiction in doing that. And it is true that the fleet has increased in size. Largo! Peterhead's prosperity has been founded on fishing. 
and the Brussels quotas are destroying that.